Hello, everyone. This is the report of the NCI task force. With us is Robert Borenstein, who's the board director and task force chair. Hi, Robert, and thank you for making the time. Uh, what we're trying to do is actually put in voice the reports that were already sent to the delegates in writing. And we want to cover the NCI report. So please, if you can tell us what's the achievement that was um, done this year by the task force uh, on the NCI. Yes. Thank you, Rima, for inviting me and giving me a chance to talk a little bit about the National Consulting Index. Um, first of all, I have to say that we actually planned to uh, present the second full edition of the NCI last year, this year. Um, but as the pandemic situation uh, changed a lot of things in our life, also the NCI was affected. It was uh, not possible to get uh, real data and, and to, be, uh, to be on the top of the the data that are provided that can give a full picture of uh, the, the, the national consulting markets. Therefore, we had to change our approach. The actual approach of the NCI is to have um, different indicators that are uh, put together to a report, to our report. And um, this year, we asked our members, our, the, uh, um, the, the national organizations, uh, how they would feel more or less how the market developed. Um, we know that this is an approach that is not very scientific, but it is uh, a picture of the national consulting market uh, and therefore for the international consulting market. And so actually we uh, got quite uh, good and well responses. And so we um, were able to publish a report about the market and how that market developed. Um, and we're able to see um, what are the expectations for the next year and for the, for the, for the future of the consulting markets. Now I have to say that the, uh, the picture is extremely different from country to country, from area to area. We have different expectations and different developments of the markets uh, in America, in Europe, in Asia, and also in Africa. And the range is huge. Uh, but I think it's very important for us as ICMCI, as the global voice of management consulting, to have a report like that. And um, we are planning to have these figures in our next editions, hopefully with uh, better indices and hopefully with more robust data in the sense of uh, scientific robust reporting. So the challenges were about data this year? I hope next year you would overcome that and maybe we can even look for new resources for data. Uh, Robert, how do you see the IMCs benefiting from this report? How do you see them rolling that out to their members, to knowing more about their markets and, and how they can make use of that? You know, I think um, as SMCI, we, we provide data for the IMCs. And in times like this, everything is changing so fast and in such high range of, of figures that um, our members, members, the management consultants, but also the other stakeholders, politics or client organizations, they want to know what is the direction. They want to have some guidance of how could the economy develop. And uh, the NCI gives a, a, a good guideline, a good guidance uh, of our expectations. And it is a statement for the industry, for the management consulting industry, very important because uh, if we have a statement like the market will grow, the market will decline or whatever, it is possible to, to uh, approach other stakeholders and see how to react on this situation. In some countries, uh, a very high growth rate is expected. That would mean that the management consulting industry is, as an industry needs to uh, find solutions to have sufficient uh, providers of, of these services. And in other countries, it's the other way around. They expect um, not a growth, they expect uh, declining and the industry as an industry has to react on that and see what to do uh, to have uh, 
sufficient market size for uh, economic growth. So um, to make it short, <laughs> I think it's, it, 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 uh, it, uh, it is a very good tool to approach politics, uh, to approach other stakeholders uh, and um, engage with stakeholders in the discussion of the development of the market. So uh, advocacy and planning, good. Um, what are the plans for next year? What do you have for us? What do you have in preparation and in insight? What should we expect? Well, first of all, we all expect, we all hope that we can uh, uh, publish the, the third full edition as we did before the pandemic uh, came up. We want to amend something in the, in, in the data set that is uh, available for us. We need to amend because the, uh, the data set we are using uh, is provided by different organizations and different providers. And uh, they did some changings, but I think uh, it, is, um, it is robust enough for us to have um, a reliable report. We need the IMCs to come back with their expectations and with uh, some figures from their market. And as everything in ICMCI, the, the NCI can only work if we all work as a, as a big family together and, and uh, we all collaborate on a very uh, focused uh, way to have a, a, a good and reliable report like the NCI. I know our IMCs will never let us down. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> uh, we are one. We'll continue to be a community that works together in order to become the voice of the profession. Thank you for your time. And I know that everyone would enjoy this, uh, this update. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Rima.